Thank you. I feel quite wonderful tonight. And uh, good good uh, Thanksgiving. People have a good Thanksgiving. That was, I'm glad it's over, really. I, I've, I've pretty much done the uh, leftovers almost. I'm pretty much starting to get sick now when I eat the stuff. But it's, uh, God, it's got it. Just love it. Oh, just keep adding cranberry sauce to it. Oh, I just kind of a... Turkey starts to look like the stuffing. It's time to throw it out. I said, that's the kind of... Not enough cranberry sauce to cover that up. I'm eating medicine. <laughs> yeah, think about Thanksgiving to me. I, I, I you know, uh, we have a great country. I know we're, we're really big in our military, but if anybody ever wants to invade the United States, they should do it like an hour after Thanksgiving dinner. That's when they should actually come get them. I don't think we can defend ourselves laying on the couch with our pants undone. There's no way you're going to fight anybody. <laughs> what, taking over? Fine, would you burp me? I got a gas pocket the size of my fist by my kidney. Would you get that one? Oh, he's going to be eating this shit for about eight days. I can't believe this stuff. Of course, now we got, uh, you know, Christmas coming. That, that's, uh, that's always a big treat. Uh, you know, the thing with Christmas, to me, I always know it's Christmas season because as I pull out of my driveway and drive around my neighborhood, I see the life-size activity at the gas station, which always sends a chill up my spine. That, that's just... I'm not quite sure what the association there is with the uh, gas station and the, uh, and the Holy Family. I didn't think that war was about oil, to be honest with you. But basically... <laughs> I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. It's like, well, hey, gas prices have gone down. Thank the Lord. Well, there he is. Let's just pull right in. <laughs> baby Jesus, a high five there. <laughs> Got the wise man, wise man with Slim Jims and beer. I don't even think that's proper. Well, it's advertising. They didn't have those. All right. Of course, everybody's got to get practical this year because there's not a lot of money, you know. Everybody's broke, so they're giving out gift certificates. Yeah, I'll clean your house. I don't want that from anybody. I, I, I don't want anybody giving me stuff that says I got to see them more. You know, so, uh, <laughs> I realized really, so I basically have to invite you over. I got to clean the house for you to come over to clean my house because I got to be my friend. I don't want to put you out. So no, don't do the bathroom. I'll take. I'll take care of that. That's fine. That's fine. You want some turkey? I got some from Thanksgiving. He got it. Still got some of that. It's pretty good there. I got that. Good Tupperware, good seal. <laughs> I think it'd be funny to gift that to somebody, you know? <laughs> your friend gives it, yeah, I'm gonna come clean your house, I'll babysit your kids. Really? Thanks. And just give it to somebody else. You know what? There you go. <laughs> somebody they don't even know, they call you up. Oh, Joe said you'd come watch my kids and clean my house. I don't know. <laughs> he said he didn't need it. Yeah, so, you know, my kids, I, we're, we're our kids, you know, uh, practical gifts this year. So uh, I'm getting, I'm getting flu shots. That's what I'm getting. But basically, uh, it's going to be a weird Christmas morning. They run downstairs. <laughs> there's Santa with a cotton swab and the elves <laughs> holding them down. It's because I love my kids. I want to make sure they're inoculated. Would you rather have Lego or H1N1? Which one do you want to have? I think I can help you out here with the... Rather, you didn't have the H1N1 is what Daddy's getting at. 